What does Mel Gibson, Will Smith, Julia Roberts and Tom Hanks all have in common? Apart from the fact that they are excellent actors, they have all starred in films that are based or involved in conspiracy theories. Let's have a look at some modern day conspiracy theories. Shh, I can't say too much because you never know who's watching or listening. But here are some modern day conspiracy theories that will just leave you shaking your head in disbelief. And just a warning, forehead protection will be required. Everybody knows the Beatles. Four cheeky young lads from Liverpool in the northwest of England, John, Paul, George and Ringo, formed the Beatles in 1960. The group split up eventually in 1970. George Harrison sadly passed away from lung cancer at the age of 58 in November 2001. John Lennon was assassinated by his so-called number one fan, Mark Chapman, in New York on the 8th of December 1980. Paul McCartney, who still records music to this very day, has an asteroid and a planet named after him. He was knighted for his services to music in 1997. And Richard Starkey, better known as Ringo Starr, who again still records this very day and was the voice of Thomas the Tank Engine. He was also knighted back in 2018. From their first album, Please Please Me in 1963, to their last album, Let It Be in 1970, the Beatles recorded huge success throughout the world and created a certain amount of controversy. But in recent years, conspiracy theorists have decided that at least two of the Beatles albums have very alternative meanings. The first album is the album Help from 1965. Originally, the photographer wanted the four band members to spell out the word help using semaphore. However, it was decided that this was not aesthetically pleasing. So the Fab Four spelt out different letters using semaphore and this was decided it was much more pleasing to the eye. However, the letters that the Beatles spelt out are N-U-J-V. Now, conspiracy theorists have jumped on this idea and decided that N-U-J-V stands for New Unknown John Vocalist. They have decided that at this time in 65, John had died and a new vocalist had been brought in to finish the album and obviously subsequent albums. The second album on the radar of the conspiracy theorists is Abbey Road from 1969. They had decided, no more than four years after John was dead, that now Paul McCartney is dead. The album depicts John Lennon dressed as a preacher, Ringo Starr as an undertaker, George Harrison as a grave digger, and Paul McCartney wearing a suit and no shoes is a corpse. What utter drivel. My next conspiracy is, funny enough, secrecy. What is secret? What are the levels of secrecy? The first level is unclassified. The next is protected, then restricted, confidential, secret, and top secret. But the conspiracy theorists believe that there are at least 60 levels above top secret. And we all know top secret is the highest level. The highest of these levels is majestic, which is just above cosmic, which is just above lunar, which is just above BS. And it is reported that the President of the United States, even he does not have 
majestic security clearance. What an absolute bunch of tosh. Fun fact, there are two levels of secrecy that you may not be aware of. The first one is called Canucus, which involves the countries of Canada, United Kingdom and United States. This means that only officials from those three countries can see those documents. There is another level called Oskansukus, which is Australia, Canada, New Zealand, United Kingdom and United States. Again, documents only officials from those countries can see those documents. Fun fact. To be or not to be, that is the question. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Now is the winter of our discontent. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? Despite my terrible act in there, those are a few lines from the plays you may know, written by William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon in Warwickshire in England in April of 1564. Stratford-upon-Avon, just for interest, is about that far on Google Maps from where I was born. It is a beautiful, beautiful little town. He was born into a relatively normal family and led a very normal life. Um, he was very well educated at King's New College in Stratford-upon-Avon. He began his career as an actor based in London and then sort of slowly moved into writing plays himself. At the time of his death, it is reported that he wrote 39 plays and 154 sonnets or poems. However, conspiracy theorists claim that he did not write any of the plays or poems. The famous Austrian neurologist Sigmund Freud, for example, claims that a gentleman called Francis Bacon wrote the plays. Francis Bacon was Lord Chancellor of England at the time, and although he was a philosopher, there is absolutely no evidence that points to him writing the plays. Another candidate for the writer of the plays is a chap called Christopher Marlowe. He was also born in 1564, and it's reported that he had an influence on William Shakespeare. The theory goes that Marlowe faked his own death and assumed the identity of William Shakespeare and continued writing. However, once again, there is absolutely no evidence of this. A very famous British actor called Derek Jacobi has suggested that a gentleman called Edward de Vere wrote the plays. He was the 17th Earl of Oxford, and whilst he was indeed a poet and a playwright, once again, there is no evidence that Edward de Vere wrote all of the plays. In a strange twist, despite Derek Jacobi being anti-Shakespearean, he has performed on stage and on the screen many roles of various plays of William Shakespeare, including uh, Henry IV Part II, Twelfth Night, Much Ado About Nothing, Romeo and Juliet, Othello, Macbeth, and possibly his most famous role in Hamlet. So, as I have mentioned, there is no evidence to suggest that William Shakespeare did not write 39 plays and 154 sonnets. There are a few more uh, conspiracy theories I would like to cover. Uh, these include a ship, a type of fitness, uh, some form of reptile, and of course, who else but the Greeks. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Um, a little bit different from the norm, so I would appreciate uh, your comments and I look forward to reviewing them. If you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up button, that is much appreciated. And if it's your first time here, you can subscribe using the little link in the corner there. So thank you once again for watching, uh, much appreciated. Thank you to all your, for all your support, should I say, and I will see you later in the week. Please take care and good day.